Hello and welcome to Heist Society, a Thief 2 fan mission by Asylum. Let's uh, read the beeping. Sources have led me to believe that Lord Gellard, a noble renowned for his vicious competitiveness, has gathered an exquisite collection of valuable artifacts and rare gems in the enormous mansion on his sprawling estate in Hightown. I'm in need of a big job right now to meet certain expenses, so the Gellard estate should fit the bill. I've heard that Lord Gellard somehow manages to control portions of the city leadership and aristocracy. Getting proof of how he's doing this would give me something I could use against him, or sell to one of his enemies. Supposedly, Gellard even has a secret passage from his estate that comes out somewhere in or near City Hall. Finding it could prove very useful. He's also reputed to have the best guards and security devices around. Since he has close ties to the mechanists, he has a number of their security devices on the grounds. Cleaning up the estate won't be easy, but then paying the rent never is. Let's begin. So the choice to do here is between hard and experts. Oh, expert has a optional ghost objective. Let's just let's review hard first. Lord Gellar's control of the aristocracy and city leaders suggests he somehow manages to get sensitive information about them. Find proof of what he's up to so you can hold it over his head. He would be ashamed to pass through one of the finest mansions in Hightown without picking up some souvenirs. Try to steal at least 1700. A recent raid you made on a fine antiquity store to acquire a particularly expensive staff indicated that it was sold to Lord Gellar before you could acquire it. Make sure you don't lose out a second time. Killing a guard out for your blood may be necessary, but killing an innocent for any reason is not, so don't do it. Much scrounging of information has told you that Lord Gellard maintains a secret underground passageway between his mansion and City Hall. Find it, and once your other objectives are complete, use it. Whoops, that's not what I meant to do. Give you goals, nope. Alright, well, let's just do that. So, experts, does it find proof? Okay, you must be stealthy in order to succeed tonight. Do not allow the guards to get a firm warning of your presence. Optional. 2400 loot, so that's another 700. Lord Gellert owns several extremely rare fine china vases that collectively are worth quite a sum. Five should constitute a collection to any buyer. So find the five china vases. Also reputed to own a fine collection of gems he keeps on display in his gallery. Time to make them yours. Oh, this is interesting. So we don't have to find the staff objective. We have two different ones instead. Huh. Let's find a collection of gems he keeps on displaying his gallery. That sounds fine. You know what? Um. So, uh, the readme says there's a lot of differences between difficulty levels in terms of like numbers of AI, where they patrol, where keys are, uh, bonus objectives, as we're seeing here, as well as his starting location. Normally, for these recordings, I will work, I prefer to do hard, um, because killing a gun out of my blood is sometimes necessary if, if I run out of other options, but also because. I try to avoid lots of saves coming, and so having that extra buffer of hit points has often saved my skin. However, I think it will go with Expert, just because there's two extra objectives here. You know, it'll just pan out the recording time, so I can make this stretch to more episodes. Haha. -ha. Um, we'll see. But also the also the optional ghost. I guess I will try this. Try it. I will fail that. I'm sure, but I will try for it. So what do we need? What do we have? A thousand. I probably need another healing, right? Definitely want another flash bomb. Maybe even two. I've got two repairs. That's good. Probably want more water arrows. Gas arrows are great, but they're so damn expensive. So I must never end up never using them. 
So I could get one more healing potion. Five more water arrows. I think I've six broadheads actually. I mean, six is probably fine, but. Maybe let's go ten water arrows, three flash bombs, two healing potions, eight broadheads. Well, broadheads are only going to use for distractions, right? Or, I suppose, against spiders if there are any. Maybe we should get another moss arrow instead. Three. three. Two visibility potions there. They're occasionally very useful, but let's just try that. And here we are in the graveyard. Okay, we've got a solid map with auto map. Excellent. Uh, so we've already kind of know the exterior of the place, but don't know anything about the interiors. So I guess we'll be mapping that out as we go. Not shadow me at all. Oh, well, he's not bothered. Already, we see the mechanism security. Wonder if it's going to start raining. Be a nice touch. Okay, he's coming back. Don't set off any alarms or over or overly alert the guard. So I guess I don't know whether that figures on level two or level three. I guess we'll find out when I fail it. I'm not sure if you might come in here or not. Now, where am I going and where do I want to go? I guess let's scout west. It's a nice exterior. I mean, it's. His lack of working of functional shadows. What's this? Briefly see me. Gas arrow. 
Honestly, it was more so we've expected. But... All right. What's indeed a guess? I don't know. Nice. Brilliant. So we got a bu whole bunch of guards here. Well, two, you know. Just a whole bunch. Carrot's not very good at counting. And a lot of light. Feels like it's not going to be easy. Get past them to the south side of the... Uh, of this area. I mean, I could get behind him easily enough, right? Turn. Who's there? Hello? Sorry. Is that you? Well. People are getting slight glimpses of me, but nothing too, too terrible. Well, this spot is... Uh... Oh, I thought he was facing away. I guess it's nothing now. He does turn to face away. No. Well, Where's this place? All what they said. It's just a little it was true. guard station, isn't it? just believed them like a taff head. They're probably laughing at me now, behind my back. Yeah, not true at all. Nope. What marble? I would like to pick his pocket, his arrow, but I don't want to waste a moss arrow on that. Just for one broadhead. I don't know what I'm doing. Like, I'm just scouting this place. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna go up and tell them no more guard duty. Six tapping years of guard duty. I'm gonna put my finger up and say uh, I've had enough. And that's it. That's what I'm gonna do. You do that. That will definitely put an end to your guard duty. You might have to get a worse job. But um, it will. It will deal with your guard duty problem. Okay, so he does stay that facing that way a long time, it seems. Although that's <coughs> undependable. Not again. <coughs> Alright, let's go for it. Hmm. Maybe next time. Okay, there's another guard up ahead. So what I haven't really seen is much in the way of possible entrances to the house. <coughs> oh well, I mean that's fun obviously. We have a balcony here. You've been right around the place. So maybe we should try getting into this balcony, shall we? Let me climb this. Is this one of. 
is one of those missions where we can find vines. It's not a balcony, it's just a recruiting bit. I don't know why I can't mantle that though. Somebody sleep there. How was this water? In the front yard there. Interesting. I think that person was not sleeping very soundly. The sound of our lock picking worked on. My question is can I mantle in here without making a clunk noise? <laughs> I could have sworn there was snoring sounds coming from this room. But there's nobody in here now. Security key, that's excellent. 420. The install of the gear lock on Lord Gillard's door went well. He has two of the specialized gear keys, one of which is kept with him at all times, and the others are either left in the safe or else was Captain Horth. That isn't a good plan. What if Captain Horth loses it or forgets it in his room? I tried to impress on Lord Gillard the importance of the gear keys. He seems to understand that he needs to keep both keys secured so no one else can enter his rooms. However, he doesn't seem to understand that if both are lost, then the entire mechanism would require a replacement. That is not an easy task. 424. Lord Gillard is utterly fascinated with the Victrola. He was asking all kinds of questions regarding the manufacturing specifics and how the recordings are made. He was fairly knowledgeable about the differences in quality and sound production. He has ordered a Victrola and a crate of records to use as a greeting device in his entryway. The oddities and whims of the nobility never fail to amaze me. 426. Began the installation of the watches. Some of them are in place, and they should be operative soon. I can't believe Lord Gillard was complaining about their price. He ignores the fact that these watches only need their gears oiled once per month, and the mechanism itself only needs maintenance perhaps once a year. They don't sleep, they don't eat, and they never desert their post for a trip to the privy. They keep a continual watch, which is more than can be said of some of the human so-called guards. I caught one of them in the bar the other day, drunk as a skunk. That alone proves the superiority of our mechanist security devices. 4.30. Installation of the watches is complete. Lord Gillard wouldn't loosen his purse strings one bit more than he had to. There were only a minimum of watches installed. The mansion would be so much more secure if he would permit a watcher at each door, and preferably each major hallway, Best I can say is that the Lord's rooms and his library are covered, but sadly most of the mansion is not. I spoke with him today about installing some turrets to complement his watches. He was complaining about their cost just like he complained about the cost of the watches. He whined bitterly about the ammunition and maintenance charges too. What good is the cannon if it does not have good ammunition, or if it misfires due to negligence? Then he had the nerve to talk about the possibility of misfire and property damage. Those machines are expertly engineered to produce the most advanced technology in home defense, and he's whimpering about price property damage. I'll be certain to mention the damage on the outside of his house due to the bored target practice of his archers. He should change his mind then. Lord Gillard has ordered a Victrola for use in the ballroom. He has decided that pre-recorded music is much more preferable to hiring musicians. He believes that with a sufficient variety of recorded music, there is no reason at all to put up with the fuss and bother of having musicians in to entertain his guests. Not coincidentally, it is far cheaper to purchase a dozen recordings than to hire a quartet. He then inquired about placing an order for an additional half dozen other machines, along with a similar quantity of recordable discs. Does he want to have recorded music throughout the mansion? 510. That old skin plant would only permit the installation of a few turrets. That's more than he was originally wanting, and is a few less than what he could really use. I really don't understand this fellow. He's one of our most influential citizens, has a simply amazing gem collection to protect, and can easily afford the best security system in town. Yet he tries to cut corners whenever possible. 
One thing that would help assuage the skimpy security that he is willing to pay for some of the little roaming inspection bots, and a couple of the larger combat bots. I don't know that he will pay for them though, and we mechanists certainly are not providing them for free. 518. Lord Gillard's order arrived today and he confided to me his plan for the extra Victrolas. I must say it isn't something that I would have thought of on my own. It is, however, a stroke of genius. Why have security that can only see when so much more may be discovered through other channels? As usual, Lord Gillard wanted a discount before paying the order. I allowed him two cases of recordable discs instead. You'll be ordering more of those soon enough. 525. The High Priest is allowing me to bring over one of the big combat bots for Lord Gellert's inspection. It is easily equivalent to four or five human guards. I can hear Lord Gellert complaining already about the equipment cost and the fuel expense. If he purchases even just one of these and supplements it with a couple of the little ones, then he would save plenty over paying all of those human guards and providing their better board. Either way, he's still going to need to keep some of the human guards, he just has not permitted enough mechanical security to be installed to do away with very many. Alright, well it seems like I uh, happened upon the best possible entrance. A nice review of the security system. So we have... Gears. Lord Gillard has one. The other is either in the safe or with Captain Horvath. Let's uh, make some notes. Do we have a note page? We do. All right. In addition, I don't know what you will do with the victrolas, but we'll find out. Um, watches in the Lord's Room and the Library. I don't know where they are, but we'll stick it on our next page. No, we saw one outside too, but... Uh, At least we're forewarned about those. And uh, there's a few turrets. A genius plan for extra patrollers relating to security. That's interesting. I wonder if that is alarms that are driven by sound. That is recording the sound. Um, and a combat box that is probably on display. It's not that key. Oh. Well, if his room is locked, he hasn't left a key to his room. In his room. Of course, it wouldn't make sense for him to do so, but it would be very nice for me. Then. May have to find a different way in. All right. Well, that's that's okay. That's doable. <laughs> the knowledge I got here and the security key I got here. Both going to be useful. So anywhere I could. Deploy a rope arrow to get high, because there's definitely more to this place. Seems not. <laughs> Ouch. Oh, we do have doors here. This way. I see much higher.
As you can see a couple of guards out there. respect to guards, but uh, I have no respect for the mechanists. Besides, if you wouldn't give me his room key... That's not a good place to hide him. Oh, that was valuable. Oh, Master Builder, let us build our house in strength with the firm foundation set on bedrock. Let the stone be uncracked and the timbers straight and true. Permit us our roof to be a constant shield against the foes of wind and storm, and our windows tight against all drafts. Let our gutters be efficient movers of water, lest our basement become a swimming pool. Allow our chimneys always draw correctly, so our fires burn bright, and the drapes do not smell like smoke. Assist us, we entreat you, that our electric should operate without sparks and shorts, and our plumbing never clog. Brethren, let us not forget the builder in our daily lives. So this is a bad idea, I think, for me to drop him right there, because it's quite brightly lit, and there's windows looking through into other parts of the house. An extremely large chapel. How dark is it right here? Really not dark at all. Hmm. This is not going well. Ooh, I think maybe a baby ah! birdie packed me. Right, so let's try and be a little more cautious there. Okay, so I knocked the guy out. I'm gonna have to do if I want that. Oh. Thou art revealed, foe. <laughs> Damn, I didn't mean for that to happen. Oh shit, somebody saw me out there too. This won't hurt. Ow. Ah! Way too bright in here. Okay, well let's. For that to happen. So this is this is a terrible situation for stealth. Because people are seeing us through the windows. It's extremely bright. And uh I can barely hear them, so I can't even notice that they're don't probably even get notified that they see me. Uh, I do not like that at all. Someone say something. There's a guard right there. Mm. You know what? I'll skip key. So is there a guard that was patrolling in this hallway who came in? Or was it this guy looking through the windows that saw me? I don't know, but a nice quiet, nice dark patch here is, is good.
Yeah, this house is exceedingly bright. I feel like the priest should probably should get KO'd. I'm not sure I can do this reliably. Let's see, let's see if, if somebody comes and goes here. I don't know, maybe, come, maybe I can go up and down here more easily. A little bit of patience and wondering and watching. There's definitely an archer that came in from this hallway, but it might just be down underneath this place. Can't say. Oh, there he is. Ah, oh, so he gives him stands there. It's where you can see into that room, but... Okay. <laughs> oh. Who goes there? Ah, shit. Carrot. Ah! On the rope. You know what? Actually. That'll probably work better. <laughs> Except for this. Let us steal these implements. Let's get back as quickly as we might. To hopefully avoid being seen by the uh, other archer. So I'm not going to ghost this one, but uh, KOing people is fine. I'm definitely not going to be able to ghost this one. Oh wow, this mansion is enormous! Look at this! Look at this room. This is the chapel. Like this is a huge, huge room. It's just this tiny little space on here. Oh god. Alright. Let's move that a little further over. I feel like it might be a good place to leave one of my ropes. and looks the way he came in. I mean, that'd be a op good opportunity for me, right? <laughs> to KO him, but no. Oh, it's locked. Living area. Hmm. Is there somebody coming this way? I was going to go take the opportunity to. Of the archer. Yeah. Huh? 
What was that? Just notice. Remember that no servants are to enter the barracks unless permitted by either myself or Captain Horace. Sergeant Rathburn. Hello, we have a uh, nice place under the stairs there. What is that smell? Not me, I just flushed a few days ago. Alright, so we know there's a guard that wanders around here still. Don't think I really have any good way, place to sit and take him out. I mean, I guess we could get him as he comes in through here. I feel like given the size and brightness of this place... Okay, he didn't actually see me, that's... That's good. I'll leave my rope just for the moment. Discard. Nothing there now. Well, what do you know? So he comes this way. I feel like he's going to get a nice knock on the head when he does so. There is so much light and so many guards that I... Trying to curse this was just going to get me killed too rapidly. I mean, I already got me killed a couple of times. But I don't have good places to run and hide. If I try and run to evade people who spotted me, it's going to just get me seen... Again. Good work, Garrett. Good jumping. Proper top skills there. Uh, at least it can be a little bit noisy. So I'm gonna. Be, I'm gonna say at least it can be a little bit noisy. Actually, pick a few people upstairs, you know. So I'm going to play this fairly um, in Hoover fashion. I mean, body piles. All right. <sighs> Let's. So we've got we've got places to explore there that we can safely do. You know what? Actually. And actually see if anybody dropped anything in, in the pews, which sometimes they do. You know how easily stuff, small valuables fall out of pockets. Also could maybe be something up on the beams, but it seems unlikely. Stairs up there. Relative darkness here. Servants need to stay out of the barracks. I mean, I guess the barracks was probably over this way then. It's getting more sleeping from maybe this barracks is actually up above us there. 
make sense given the location of the sign. Ace Society, it's cool, it's more like uh, Bonk Society. Oh, this sounds like, it sounds like they're right in front of me. This room, unclear. Bathroom, I guess. Toilet stalls. Always look in the toilets, Garrett, you know. Well, you didn't look properly in the toilet, right? Some people in the city shit gold. Godrays on those uh, laps, it's a little strange. What's in these alcoves? Metal flooring. Probably a tub here. And it's the same, and there's nothing in here in this room that I need, which is fine. Like, this is not kind of room people keep valuables in, right? It's a room to come in to wash. Judge the location of the yeah, footsteps I'm hearing. Wow, this place. Alright, we've got power. A power switch, I wonder what that turns off. Storage. Actually. Search the room better with the lights on, can't we? that lets me turn off the electric lighting in the, in the place or if it just it's not interactive at all it is not interactive at all that's a shame I did have somebody uh, to my lock picking efforts before. Let's 
just make sure that doesn't happen again. <laughs> Strange blue mushrooms. Oh, hello. And more moss. That's good. I should I could actually use some of these moss arrows, like. <laughs> Dear Kevil, I hope this note finds you in time. Remember how you said that Peter and Mary were on their way back? They never arrived here. No one has seen them in months. They both sent home notes saying that the captain seemed to be stalking them. And last week I saw the captain pick up a child and throw him against a wall. He told Lord Gellard that the child was trying to steal something from the coach. That kid was just walking down the street. He didn't do anything. Lord Gellard told him, good work. I took the unconscious child home, but he died the next day. There is something really wrong with that man, and Lord Gellard won't do anything about him. Please, Kevil, get out of there as soon as you can, Aunt Martha. This is a... Seems an odd place for you to keep your cold storage. I think closer to the kitchens. We can see out onto the streets, that's nice. We're not getting out onto the streets this way. Okay, well, I only just noticed these beams up here. I should check them out. See if anybody, uh... I thought they would be clever by hiding anything valuable on them. Seems not. Alright. What's that room? There. I've not been in yet. Oh, this is a kitchen. Okay, so the whole rooms make sense. And it's relatively close to, the, close to the kitchens. Strange, I couldn't lean properly there. I do still need to be quiet because I got upstairs. Cabinets with nothing in them, but I will take the bread. And I'll take this bread. Okay, well, nothing hiding behind that banner. Right, so this is just all servants here, I suppose. And guards. Where's my house key? Okay, yeah, now we're definitely in the fancy parts of the place. not go that way, let's... I did go in there, okay. Didn't realise that's why I could hear him so well. And 
also hearing a watcher. Ah, there's a watcher right there. That is not good news for me. This is probably not a good way up. In which case... I can either come this way where we've already knocked the guard out, or come this whole way. Let's get back across this battle. A little bit quiet there. Now I can make that jump since I'm not carrying a body anymore. Not the bathroom. And this one is for presumably all these people other than just other than servants. Significantly fancier flooring and fittings. Changing room for the pool. Oh, hello. That's definitely not going to be the security room, right? Oh, is the security? Huh. How strange. Why would you jam the security in both sides of the all these electrics in beside the place was covered with water. Did that do anything? I, mean, I guess I could go back to see if that water I saw was turned off actually. Would probably be a reasonable thing to do. is the watcher is still going so I have no idea what that switch did. It's not great. Not the way I would like things. Possibly possibly it's a different watcher. It might well be that there's more than one. Uh, maybe each watcher has its own security room? Rather than a centralized, that would certainly be, uh, you know, better for security, right? Oh, there's an easy way to the upper floor up here, too. Got lots of guards here. Wondering if maybe there's a watcher in this hall. It's kind of grand hall.
is a good place for moss because I want to move quickly. that deals with the atmosphere, weather forecasting, you know, that kind of thing. Oh, my atmosphere is spiders. Ever been down in the sewers? There's some really big ones down there. Well, I was working for the city for a while. I said atmosphere, you tapper, not utmost fear. Oh, atmosphere. What's that? It's the gaseous envelope of a celestial body. You know, the air. Oh, but how do you... How do you study the air? You can't even see Look, it. Look, you tapper, it's a scientific fact that... Uh, why do I bother? It just looks like it's going to rain, that's all. Why do you always treat me like I'm stupid or something? If you're so smart, why do you and me have the same job? Oh, looks like it's gonna be a long night. <laughs> what is your atmosphere? Ah, oh, spiders, are you being the sewers? <laughs> yes, it's study that most trees. Okay, so I could use another water arrow if I wanted to be able to safely get behind those two. God. What? What do they all suddenly like? All three of them seem to just notice something. At once. Maybe. Maybe my turning around made a fractional. Damn, I didn't mean for that to happen. Well, I don't care about that. If they're that twitchy that they start searching because of a torture. What? Start searching over there because the torch over here went out. This is bizarre. But fine. Can everybody's? Well, I guess I can use flash bomb on them as well then. If they come this close. Come out and fight me! What's this? Well, they definitely know I'm here now. Please look at me, uh, made a blackjack stats, right? Well, okay, so. Don't get set off any alarms or overly alert the guards. Well, never mind. They've seen us. They will know it was Garrett, the Master Thief, who was not quite masterful enough, who uh, came here and robbed them. But, you know, if I didn't get seen occasionally, how would I build a reputation? But uh, this is a good place to end the episode. 
So thanks for watching. I'll see you here shortly for the next one.